we had been working for quite a few weeks on the case of Mishwiga to bring her to Malta. There was, and there were other opportunities to try to bring her here, which had fallen through. In Sertat, we managed to put her on the fly that we were on. So it, it, what we didn't go down for her. This delegation had been planned, but we managed to put the two together, and we brought her back. How was she throughout the trip? She's a very reserved and very quiet person. She's been through quite a lot of trauma, as one can imagine. I'm sure um, that one can understand. She also doesn't speak English at all. She speaks Arabic. So she's very quiet on the trip, but she was very gracious, um, very grateful to what we are doing to her. For her, I mean, she's, she was very emotional about leaving Libya because it's a chapter in her life that is closing. And I'm sure she never heard of Malta in the past, but she is very grateful to the fact that she's going to be given an opportunity to start a new life, to be given the medical treatment she deserves, uh, plastic surgery, probably even some psychological assistance for the, for the trauma that she's been through. She will be provided whatever she is, is deemed that she requires. Uh, the plan, sir. Your country was to assist her. There was another country. I wouldn't like to mention countries, but there were some countries who were interested, and Malta was in from the very beginning because there were um, some Maltese doctors with Medilink who were in contact with her from the very beginning. But also, apart from that, um, it, wherever she was going to go, or she was always going to come to Malta first as the first stop. So Malta was always in, and she had accepted from the beginning to be here also, as did her doctors. But there were some other countries eventually, for no particular reason, but they saw that we were quite organized, very willing on her case. We were very in daily contact with the people who were caring for her. As I said, we had um, Midlink who were dealing with her case from the very beginning, where we had a multi person on the ground there, in fact, who happened to be in the same place where she was, and so took, took care of the case. So it just became a natural choice, really. Are there plans for asylum? That is completely her... Per we cannot apply for asylum for her. That is for every person to take as a personal choice. If once she, she has, we have been in contact with the assistance of the American Embassy in Malta, with the Ethiopian Embassy in Cairo, that has issued a new passport for her. There, there's an arrangement for her passport to be given to our embassy in Cairo and sent to us by diplomatic bag. This will be given to her. She is completely free to make the choices that she wishes and we are here to assist her and to provide her all the support along the way for any of her choices.